There we go. All right, so we've got some shaders rocking and rolling here. Let's say goodbye to our friend. Ow! Not necessary, my friend. And let's get ourselves over here onto the island. And let's continue work on our seawall. Let's continue work on basically everything that we're doing over here on the island. I really do want to continue all of this aesthetic over here. We've got our kelp farm. We're going to sleep because I have no idea when the last time I did. Where is my bed? Why do I not have a bed here? Guys, where's my where's my bed? Wait, there it is. Was this the one that was here originally? Did I just like pick it up and then I don't know, whatever. Anyway, uh, yes, as you guys may or may not remember, if like I said, if you're new here uh, or if you missed last stream, last time we raided a mansion and we picked up a whole lot of of these bad boys. We have six totems of undying now. And let me tell you, they are never gonna leave the offhand. Although I do have a mod uh, installed that basically prevents it from ever showing them. Uh, so you guys can't see them in my offhand. Yeah, that's right, we, we stuck three more in there. We stuck three more in there. So what are we gonna do today? Well, today, we are going to continue work on our seawall. We're also going to start ripping out this terrain and we're going to start backfilling all of this in up to the level of the seawall because this is basically where it needs to be. But I got to rip out all the terrain work that I did before. We got to get it in here. <laughs> Pack them in real good and tight. That saucy. That saucy. That saucy. We only got to remove like a little bit of stuff though. We don't have to remove like a ton of stuff. This is Silky McScoopy. Yes, it is. Okay. Because we don't want to lose any of our gravel in doing this. But yeah, we're going to grab some dirt. We're going to grab some cobble. Any junk blocks that we have basically to fill in behind the seawall here and continue our terraforming efforts for our island down here. Oh, didn't restart the music here. Let's do that. There we go. I love that this is a hardcore world. I only play on stream and I still waste my time uh, doing and then undoing things literally all the time. It's like all I do. I really do like this aesthetic of having these raw copper blocks mixed in with the tough and stuff like this in the terrain. But this is something that we need to revisit maybe later when we get all this stuff sussed out here. more soft core i mean at, at this point listen i've got like the only thing i don't have is netherite like i eventually have to go to the nether and get netherite uh yeah but you're not really wrong though like i'm pretty i'm doing pretty okay like granted i still have to fight a wither and i still have to take on the dragon and i still have to do an ocean monument those are the three biggest challenges left to me in this world um but now with the totems of undying it's at least gonna make me a little bit more death proof like, we should actually be relatively okay, even in spite of that. And another thing, kind of the reason why I want to rip this terrain out of here anyways, because I don't want the cobblestone here. The cobblestone does not look good to me. The cobblestone actually looks, like, actively terrible. So I want to get all that nonsense out of here. And we're basically just, see, this is level with the top of the seawall, so we're going to basically only rip it back to this level. We might tweak the levels of the terrain a little bit, like, around that as well. But for now, we've got so much, so much terrain work to do. We've got so much other stuff to get done in this world. I don't want to, like, I need to finalize some stuff here. This is what, like, uh, I sometimes in Minecraft, like, I'm so bad at this stuff. You know, I just need to get something done here. Where are you guys? Okay. I've had enough of this groaning and moaning nonsense. So, bam. Boop, boop. God, that's loud. Ow. Okay. You guys, uh, do your thing. Heal up. I kind of don't trust them in there. Like, I kind of... <laughs> I kind of am fully expecting them, like, something to walk in there. But I think we're pretty well spawn-proofed all around this area. Oh, 
Oh, it's right here. Oh, there goes one. Hey! Why have you not healed yet? I think I've got his attention, so he's paying attention to me now. Come on, guy. Finally. Okay, so we're gonna put these beds in my house and then we're gonna let those guys out of there. So then they go up into my house where we will of course seal them in so they can't get out. I'm pretty sure there's still a zombie pig man in here. Yeah, there is. Oh, my bed's in here too. Whatever, don't care. If you guys would be so kind, oh God, it's almost morning too. Uh... I can't, like, ugh. Go to bed, quickly. Quickly to bed. No, not to my bed. Uh-uh-uh, nope. There are beds up in the house up here. Go up there. Uh, now they're like taking jobs. What, what are you doing? Oh my God, villagers. I hate villagers so much. Get over here, stupid. He's like too far from the house to like actually do anything here. No, now get your butt up to the house. Oh, my pig man got out. Get in there. There we go. Signed, sealed, delivered, baby. The end. Uh, so let's test. Let's test this theory. Let's get rid of this and this. Okay, so we've got a zero spawnable area right here. Okay, so let's stick a piece of glowstone here. Boop. Let's stick a honey block. Oh baby. There's your answer, Lorelai, right there. Yes, it does. Yes, it absolutely does. Oh, that's beautiful. That is good. That makes me happy. That has just brought the whole design element of this island all together, I think. But now I need so much more honey. <laughs> I need way more honey blocks. I need way, way more. This is not going to cut it. Oh God, I need so much honey now. Oh goodness. That is super good to know though. Oh, I love that. Okay, we gotta put actual torches back in some of these places though. I love honey blocks. I love the sound of them. Let's make some babies. Let's get some mood music going like Plus this will replace any B losses I may have had lately. I don't know if we've had any, but kind of waiting another couple minutes here for more of them to pop out. Come on. No, over here. Come to the flower, man. Over here. Everybody over here. Everybody pay attention to me. Everybody pay attention to me. And now fornicate. Yes. <laughs> I should have stared at the camera when I, when I did that just so I could be like, chat, now fornicate. <laughs> Okay, there we go, boom, lots and lots more babies. Day 230, $230 for cancer research. Never ever in a million years expected my hardcore world to get this far along. This island is slowly taking shape. Emphasis on the slowly. 
my guy. What are you doing over there? Besides living, because I'm a terrible shot. Oh, got him. What? what? Hey! Hey! I need that. Let's get away from our friend. He's going to shoot at us. Ow. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love that I just casually chuck my bow. Like, I yeah, don't need this stupid thing. That nether fortress is a fortress I've never explored, too. We're going to just start going this way. But we're not going to dig out three tall. We're just going to dig out two tall. Did I overshoot this, I wonder? Oh, no, I did not. <laughs> Uh, I think he just went into the void. Oh, can he get in here? I did sort of overshoot it. It's okay, though. Aha! I knew I could... I knew I just had to go out there and aggro your dumb face. Ha! Don't... Oh, dang it. Yeah, there's like a little... Whoa! 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 What was that? What was that? Had to be a blaze somewhere. Where are you, you stupid jerk? Here, you know what I need to do? I need to open this up so these guys can get a little bit closer to me and not, like, off the edge there. Okay. Oh, I see where you come from now. In your stupid faces. What I need to do is I need to kind of turn this whole this whole area like into a big platform, kinda. I think. Is this glowstone? Hello. Why yes, yes I will. Helping my shelf, thank y'all. Oh, that tastes good. What I think I need to do is I need to just kind of create like a big giant spawn area where they could potentially spawn with this platform here. Because it's like a super big platform area. There we go. Put that down there. No. Take the experience, but not anything else. Is that a piglin over there? That is a piglin over there. It must be near Nether Waste, which is cool. There's just a lot of just like super flat real estate right here, like super flat, wide open real estate. I really think we need to kind of build a giant platform here, maybe to try to increase our chances of Wither Skelly spawning in this area. Don't scare me, sucker. Neither do your two cronies down here. Yeah, I want to bridge across and go into this too, because I don't know what that is. Hey! Stop it. Once again, get out. What I also need is for them to not want to spawn out here. Oh boy, you see that? Also, uh, I don't have a blocker bar in place for these guys. So that's bad. <laughs> Hi. Whole bunch of them just blipped right into existence right there. I'm brave. I'm brave. I'm brave. I'm brave. I am so brave. I am brave. I am brave. Oh. 
Where'd this other one go? There's another one. I know there was. going. Pick a side, dude. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, boy. Ah, jeez. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. It's so dark out. Stupid shaders. Okay, well, it worked. It worked. Definitely got more to spawn over there. <laughs> There's more over there, too. We did it. We got the final head. We only need three. And I've already had, I already had two. Now there's so much more piglins spawning over here too. Dang it. You know what I kind of want to do as well? I don't necessarily want to go there just yet, but I kind of want to peek and poke and uh, figure out a way to get to that bastion remnant over there. Although I know what that means if I go over there. That friggin' jerk right there. I just saw you. I just saw him. Why don't we go back? Where's my staircase? Don't look at the Enderman. Where's my staircase? Let's go back to my thing here. Because... We can, if and we want to... Let's just start digging another path for no reason. We need to go visit that Bastion Remnant eventually, right? I'm brave. I'm super brave. You guys don't even know how brave I am. Where is something? That is a shroom light. Is that Bastion Remnant right there? Yes. Hello, beautiful. Okay. Uh, so, spoiler alert, I overshot it by a lot. We have to tread super carefully here because these piglin brutes do not play around. They are not a joke. I am surprised there are no other piglins like anywhere near this thing, though. Is that close to one right there? I want to make sure no matter where I go that I have an exit strategy. Especially if it's more than one brew. I mean, they hit hard enough that like you I can't like even get entangled with just one. But when I open this chest, it's going to aggro the heck out of them. Also, I really wish I could stop that lava flowing down in here, but I don't think we'll worry about that at the moment. Oh, there's a lodestone in here. Uh, the rest of this is kind of junk, though. The lodestone we will definitely take. Why am I carrying a piece of warped wart? Yeah. Hey, hey, pigs. That's junk. I don't want your crap. I want your good stuff. Where's the good stuff? See, you I see way down there. I don't like you. Knocked him right into the lava. Good. I need guardrails. I need, like, you know, 
the little the little kitty protections here. <gasps> oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, oh, there's got to be some brutes around here, though. There's no way that's unguarded. <gasps> Hello, Em. I love you. How are you today? Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. Oh, that's like the whole... That's like the big trove of gold that's hiding here. Oh, I can't wait to get this inside of me. Hang on. Ganey, you realize I'm just doing it on purpose now, right? Oh. Like, this can't just be here unguarded. It can't. Chris Yaney, thank you for gifting a sub over to M. Are you guys ready to do uh, nothing but obligatory counter references for an hour with me and M? Because that's going to happen very soon. I heard noises. I heard noises. Let's... I kind of want to block off any access from anything below from anything being able to climb up here. I think I've gotten pretty much everything now. That's not anything. There's literally nothing guarding this. I can't even believe that. How is that even possible? What are these quartz slabs in there? Uh, yes. Oh, I can't wait for your Blade episode. I love Blade. I haven't watched Blade in a hot minute. Well, I love you, Em. I appreciate you popping in, even if it's only for a moment. Look at all this gold. Oh, baby. Oh. There's nothing inside of the pedestal, right? Like, if I tear the pedestal down, there's nothing in it. Oh, my God. I can't believe there was no piglin brutes guarding this at all. Wow. I'm... I am running, running away with that one. That's just a steal, in my estimation. Okay, now we don't need all these guardrails over here anymore. 239 days. That's my face, and it was really, really close to you. Wow. Uh, loving it, loving it, loving it so, 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 so much. That's amazing. Now I should have enough gold, honestly, to build the gapples that I need to do another round of villager, villager curing. Because all those blocks of gold are going to come in super duper handy, let me tell you. We've got to continue work on our seawall. I did at the beginning of the stream... It was a little while ago now, but uh, yeah, beginning of the stream, we got a whole ton more materials to fill in and continue terraforming this island with this combo of andesite, gravel, and tough. I really, really love this mix, and we're just going to continue mixing more and more. My nose, like, I just get like this itch, like right here on the edge of my nose. It drives me nuts. Uh, but yeah, we've got uh, so much stuff still to do here on the island that's not even close to done here. And yeah, we've also got to build some kind of melon and pumpkin farm down here. Day 240, uh, which is amazing to me. Uh, really, I love your beautiful faces. I can't believe we are still this far into this Minecraft world and I have never died. Uh, that is the most unbelievable thing in the entire universe to me. Uh, next stream, uh, which will be a Minecraft stream probably because I just really want to jazz more into this world here i do believe we will clear a 16 by 16 square over here where's <coughs> i need a sign hang on hang on we got this i need sticks and a sign give 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 okay we gotta we gotta do our little sign reminder for next stream next stream 
Melon Pump Farm. 16, 16. More terraforming. More terraform. Okay. That's it. That's what our goal is for the next stream. We're going to build that melon pumpkin farm, that 16 by 16. We're probably going to build it right here behind the kelp farm. I'm thinking maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't necessarily know if that's where I want to build it or not. But we are going to end things staring straight at this sign here, or at least I'm going to stare straight at you. And we're going to be looking at the sign together. There it is. Melon pump farm. Melon pump farm. Jeez, I've been streaming too long. I got to get out of here. I love you, beautiful faces. 240 days. Live stream for The Cure begins May 19th, starting at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Don't miss it. This means you. I love you, beautiful faces. Uh, and I will see you in the next stream. Thank you so, so much for hanging out. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you have a great day as well, Chris. Everybody else out there, I hope you have an absolutely, absolutely amazing day. Peace out.